Hollywood is now openly pushing propaganda for the Chinese Communist Party. At Comic-Con in San Diego last week, Tom Cruise unveiled the trailer for his new Top Gun movie, a sequel to the original. In the trailer, Maverick is shown wearing his iconic jacket, just like he did in the original film. Except, the jacket is not exactly the same as the original film. In the sequel, the movie makers erase the Japanese and Taiwanese flags on the back of Mav's jacket to placate the Chinese Communist Party. Look at this. This was the original, and then this is the one censored for the sequel. And you know what's worse? A Chinese company called Tencent is helping finance this movie, which means the Hollywood people who made this movie literally sold their souls to the Chinese Communist Party. They would rather have the cash in their hands, even if that means censoring their movie for communists and inserting anti-liberty, anti-American propaganda in the film. This is a really big deal. Caving to the Chinese Communist Party, pushing authoritarian propaganda by censoring America? This movie is supposed to be about Americana, the strength of the United States, the badass of the American military. And Hollywood shows this by kowtowing to the Chinese Communist Party who doesn't want their people to see the flag of Japan, one of America's allies. I'm gonna have a hard time enjoying this movie after this if I can bring myself to watch it at all. This is not an isolated incident in Hollywood either. This happened in Ryan Gosling's first man movie too. They removed the American flag from the iconic moon landing scene because, you guessed it, China wanted to censor American greatness and the Hollywood movie makers caved. Remember when President Ronald Reagan blasted American greatness via the radio into Soviet Russia to reach the Russian people and expose the evils of the socialist Soviet regime? We have fallen so far that now, instead of using the radio or television or movies to preach freedom and crush communism, Americans in Hollywood are actively helping the Communist Party in China, the same party that disappears people who criticize them, who mass surveils their people, the same party that rates their citizens with a social credit score in order to control their behavior, the same party that forces Muslims into re-education camps, the same party that compels women to have abortions thanks to their brutal one-child policy. The same party that prohibits Christianity. The same party that operates sweatshops and exploits child labor. The same party that steals billions of dollars of American property every single year. Hollywood is helping these communists push their communist propaganda by censoring American greatness in Top Gun. Something tells me Goose would be shocked. And that's my final point.